The intrauterine device is a very popular option, and users of the IUD often want the option of combining it with the use of a menstrual cup. Let's see how the two can be combined. Here is a model of the female anatomy, where you will see the vaginal canal, which is usually between 8 to 12 centimeters long. At one end you have the cervix, and at the other the entrance to the vaginal canal. To make it clearer for you, I will replace the vaginal canal with this tube, which is 9 centimeters long, and it will be very useful for you to see the real dimensions. The cervix normally measures about 5 by 7 centimeters. As the fist of my hand is similar in size, I will simulate it with it, for the purpose of this video. As you can see the menstrual cup is inserted in the lowest part of the vaginal canal, far from the cervix. Only the tail of the cup will remain on the outside, at the level of the labia. The IUD is inserted into the uterus and the plastic threads will come out through the cervix. I will simulate the threads of the IUD with these thicker threads, so that you can see them more easily. These threads will be cut by the gynecologists, who will leave them about 3 cm long. As you can see, the distance from the rim of the cup to the threads is quite large when you have a high cervix. So the use of the menstrual cup and the IUD is compatible. If you have a medium cervix, you won't have any problems either. If you are not sure about the length of the threads, I recommend that you ask your gynecologist, as he or she will be able to tell you how long they are. If necessary, they will adjust them so that they do not interfere with the menstrual cup. Your gynecologist will also check if you have a low cervix. If you have a low cervix, you should be careful when handling the menstrual cup because it is likely to come into contact with the threads of the IUD. If this is your situation, it is best to discuss it with your gynecologist, as only your doctor can determine if the threads can be shorter in your case. And most importantly, whatever your cervix is, never remove the menstrual cup without first breaking the vacuum effect. To do this, locate the base with your fingers and pinch it before removing it. This will break the vacuum. Then hold it while you gently move the cup from side to side outwards. I hope this video has been helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me by leaving a comment below.